Welcome to Storytime Haven, where imagination knows no bounds. Today, we embark on a breathtaking journey with the princess who woke the sleeping mountain. Join us as we delve into a world of magic, courage, and the enduring power of friendship. Princess Alara stood at the edge of the kingdom, her gaze fixed on the towering peak of the sleeping mountain. Its slopes were cloaked in mystery, whispered tales of ancient guardians and hidden treasures circulating among the villagers like wildfire. But Alara wasn't drawn to the mountain by tales of riches or fame, no. It was the inexplicable pull of curiosity that tugged at her heartstrings, urging her to uncover the secrets that lay dormant within its rocky embrace. As she ventured closer, a gentle breeze danced through the air, carrying with it soft whispers that seemed to beckon her onward. Alara paused, her senses tingling with anticipation. Could it be that the mountain itself was calling out to her, inviting her to unravel its enigmatic mysteries? With a determined gleam in her eyes, Alara set forth on her journey her heart pounding with excitement. She traversed through lush meadows and dense forests, the whispering winds guiding her ever closer to her destination. Each step she took filled her with a sense of exhilaration, the thrill of discovery coursing through her veins like wildfire. As the sun dipped below the horizon, painting the sky with hues of gold and crimson, Alara finally reached the foot of the sleeping mountain. Its towering presence loomed overhead, casting a shadow that seemed to stretch for miles. But Ilara felt no fear, only a deep-seated resolve to uncover the truth that lay buried within its ancient depths. With a steady breath, she took her first tentative steps into the unknown, the whispers of the wind growing louder with each passing moment. It was as though the mountain itself was guiding her, leading her deeper into its labyrinthine corridors with each twist and turn. And so, Princess Alara ventured forth into the heart of the mountain, her spirit ablaze with the thrill of adventure. Little did she know that her journey was only just beginning, and that the secrets she sought would forever change the course of her destiny. Despite the warnings echoing in her mind like distant thunder, Princess Alara couldn't shake the irresistible urge to explore the forbidden cave that lay nestled at the foot of the sleeping mountain. Tales of ancient curses and lurking dangers did little to deter her adventurous spirit, fueled by an insatiable thirst for discovery. As she stood before the mouth of the cave, a chill wind whispered through the rocky crevices, sending shivers down her spine. But Alara squared her shoulders and steeled her resolve, determined to uncover the secrets hidden within its darkened depths. With cautious steps, she crossed the threshold into the unknown, the cool embrace of the cave enveloping her like a comforting cloak. The walls were adorned with shimmering crystals that sparkled like stars in the dim light, casting an ethereal glow upon the path ahead. As she ventured deeper into the cave, the air grew heavy with the scent of earth and moss, mingling with the faint echo of distant whispers. Alara pressed onward, her heart pounding with anticipation, her footsteps echoing against the ancient stone. Suddenly, she stumbled upon a narrow passageway veiled in shadow, its entrance obscured by a veil of thick cobwebs. Ignoring the warning bells ringing in her mind, Elara pushed aside the clinging webs and stepped into the darkness beyond. With each passing moment, the cave seemed to grow darker and more foreboding, the very air thick with an unspoken sense of dread. But Elara refused to give in to fear, her determination burning like a beacon in the depths of the unknown. And so, Princess Alara delved deeper into the forbidden cave, her spirit unyielding in the face of adversity. Little did she know that her journey would lead her to the very heart of the mountain's secrets, forever altering the course of her destiny. As Princess Alara ventured deeper into the labyrinthine cave, her eyes widened in wonder at the sight that greeted her. Nestled within a craggy alcove bathed in a soft, ethereal glow, lay a magnificent crystal of dazzling brilliance. Its facets shimmered with hues of azure and amethyst, casting dancing reflections upon the cave walls like fragments of a rainbow. Drawn to its enchanting beauty, Alara approached the crystal with cautious reverence, her fingertips grazing its smooth surface with awe. As she gazed into its depths, a sense of profound serenity washed over her, as though the crystal held the very essence of the mountain's slumbering soul. With trembling hands, Alara reached out and gently cupped the crystal in her palms, feeling its warmth radiate through her like a gentle caress. It pulsed with a soft, rhythmic energy, as though it were alive with the heartbeat of the earth itself. In that moment, Alara knew with certainty that this was no ordinary crystal. It was a key, a key to unlocking the dormant power that lay within the heart of the Sleeping Mountain. And she, Princess Alara, held the power to awaken it from its age-old slumber. With newfound determination coursing through her veins, Alara cradled the enchanted crystal close to her heart its radiant glow illuminating her path as she continued her journey deeper into the cave. Little did she know that the true test of her courage and resolve lay just ahead, waiting to be unveiled in the shadows of the mountain's ancient embrace. 
As Princess Alara ventured further into the depths of the cave, the air grew thick with an otherworldly hush, broken only by the faint murmur of whispered voices that seemed to echo from the very walls themselves. At first she strained to make out the words, their ethereal cadence teasing at the edges of her consciousness like a half-remembered dream. But as she pressed onward, the whispers grew clearer, their urgent tones urging her forward with an almost hypnotic insistence. Press on, brave one, they seemed to say, their words woven with an ancient magic that stirred something deep within Alara's soul. With each step she took, the whispers grew louder, guiding her through winding passages and hidden chambers with uncanny precision. It was as though the cave itself had come alive, its very essence pulsing with the same mysterious energy that coursed through the enchanted crystal clutched tightly in Alara's grasp. Despite the growing sense of unease that gnawed at the edges of her consciousness, Alara pressed on, her resolve unwavering in the face of the unknown, for she knew that the whispers held the key to unlocking the mountain's secrets, and she would not rest until she had uncovered the truth hidden within its ancient depths. And so, guided by the strange voices that echoed through the darkness, Princess Alara continued her quest, her spirit alight with the thrill of discovery and the promise of adventure that lay just beyond the next shadowy bend. Little did she know that the greatest challenges and the most wondrous treasures awaited her just ahead, waiting to be unveiled in the heart of the sleeping mountain. As Princess Alara ventured deeper into the heart of the cave, a sense of anticipation hung heavy in the air, mingling with the lingering echoes of the whispering voices that guided her path. But just as she rounded a corner, she stumbled upon a sight that took her breath away. A shimmering figure bathed in an iridescent glow, its form shifting and dancing like sunlight on weight. Are the guardian's spirit, for that is what Alara knew it to be, regarded her with eyes that seemed to hold the wisdom of Ag. It spoke not in words, but in the language of the heart, its presence suffusing the air with a palpable sense of reverence and awe. With a voice like the soft rustle of leaves in the wind, the guardian spirit beckoned Alara forth, its gaze penetrating her very soul. Who dares to tread upon this sacred ground, it asked, its words resonating with a power that sent shivers down Alara's spine. But Alara stood her ground, her chin held high and her eyes blazing with determination. I am Princess Alara, daughter of the kingdom, and I seek to awaken the sleeping mountain, she declared, her voice steady despite the tremor of uncertainty that gripped her heart. The guardian spirit regarded her with a mixture of curiosity and admiration, its gaze softening with approval. You possess courage and determination, young one, it said, its voice a gentle caress against the stillness of the cave. But to awaken the mountain, you must first prove yourself worthy of its power. And with that, the guardian spirit vanished into the ether, leaving behind nothing but a lingering sense of purpose and a challenge that hung heavy in the air. For Lara knew that her true test lay just ahead, waiting to be faced with the same unwavering resolve that had brought her this far. With a steely glint in her eye, Princess Alara pressed onward, her heart filled with a determination that burned brighter than any flame. Little did she know that the greatest trials, and the greatest triumphs, awaited her just beyond the next shadowy bend, ready to test the limits of her courage and the strength of her spirit. As Princess Alara journeyed deeper into the heart of the cave, her keen eyes caught sight of intricate symbols etched into the rugged walls, their ancient beauty illuminated by the soft glow of her torch. Curiosity peaked, she approached the glyphs, running her fingers lightly over their weathered surfaces as though seeking to unravel the secrets they held. Each glyph told a story, a tale of legends long forgotten, of heroes and guardians who had once walked these hallowed hall. As some depicted scenes of great battles while others seemed to speak of harmony and balance, their meanings veiled in the mists of Tim. E. But as Alara studied the glyphs more closely, she noticed a pattern emerging, a pattern that hinted at the mountain's slumbering seeker, E.T. For woven among the ancient symbols were cryptic clues, each one pointing towards the key that would awaken the dormant power hidden within the heart of the sleeping mount. With growing excitement, Alara traced the intricate lines of the glyphs, committing their shapes and patterns to memory as though piecing together a puzzle. She knew that, that these glyphs held the key to unlocking the mountain's true potential, and she was determined to decipher their hidden meanings no matter the cost. As she delved deeper into the cave, the glyphs became more numerous, their stories intertwining like threads in a tapestry of time. And with each new discovery, Alara felt herself drawing closer to the truth, her heart pounding with the thrill of anticipation, for she knew that the secrets of the mountain were within her grasp, waiting to be unveiled in the ancient language of the glyphs that adorned the walls of the cave. And with determination burning bright in her eyes, Princess Alara pressed onward, ready to uncover the mysteries that lay hidden within the mountain's ancient embrace. As Princess Alara continued her exploration of the cave, she stumbled upon a chamber bathed in a soft, ethereal light, 
Hovering in the air like tiny orbs of dancing stardust were a myriad of fireflies, their luminous glow casting a magical aura over the cavern walls. Mesmerized by the enchanting display before her, Alara felt a sense of wonder wash over her as she watched the fireflies weave intricate patterns through the air. Their movements synchronized in a delicate dance that seemed to transcend time itself. But amidst the swirling sea of light, Alara's keen eyes caught sight of something hidden. A faint outline etched into the stone floor, barely visible beneath the shimmering glow of the fireflies. Drawing closer, she realized that it was a glyph. A glyph, unlike any she had seen before, its intricate design hinting at the mountain's deepest secrets. With a sense of determination burning bright within her heart, Alara set to work deciphering the cryptic symbols, her fingers tracing the lines with practiced precision. Each twist and turn brought her closer to the answer she sought, the pieces of the puzzle falling into place with a satisfying click. And then, as if by magic, the hidden passage revealed itself before her eyes, a yawning chasm in the earth, its depths shrouded in shadow and mister. Why? With a sense of trepidation mingled with excitement, Alara stepped forward, her gaze fixed on the unknown path that lay ahia. D, with the dance of the fireflies guiding her way, Princess Alara ventured forth into the hidden passage, her heart pounding with anticipati. Little did she know that the greatest challenges, and the greatest discoveries, awaited her just beyond the threshold, ready to test her courage and resolve like never before. As Princess Alara ventured deeper into the hidden passage, the air grew thick with a palpable sense of anticipation, her heart pounding with each echoing footstep. With each twist and turn the darkness seemed to press in around her, but she pressed on, guided by an unshakable resolve and the flickering light of her torch. And then, at long last, she emerged into a vast chamber bathed in a soft, golden glow, a chamber unlike any she had ever seen before. E, towering stalactites hung from the ceiling like frozen waterfalls, their jagged edges gleaming with the same ethereal light that illuminated the cavern wall. S, in the center of the chamber stood a pedestal of polished stone, upon which rested a single pulsating crystal, the heart of the mountain its. LF, its surface shimmered with an otherworldly energy, casting dancing reflections upon the walls of the chamber like ripples on a tranquil po. ND. With trembling hands, Alara approached the pedestal, her breath catching in her throat at the sight before H. Err, for she knew that this was no ordinary crystal. It was the key to awakening the dormant power that lay within the heart of the sleeping mount. Ain. With a sense of reverence, Alara reached out and grasped the crystal in her hands, feeling its warmth seep into her very s. Oh. In that moment, she felt a connection, a bond that transcended time and space, linking her to the ancient power that slumbered within the mountain's D. PTS. With a steady breath, Elara closed her eyes and began to sing the ancient song that had been whispered to her by the wind, the song that held the power to awaken the mountain from its age-old SL, Umber. And as her voice echoed through the chamber, the crystal began to glow with a brilliant light, its energy pulsing with the rhythm of her song. And then, with a deafening roar, the mountain stirred from its slumber, shaking off the dust of centuries past as it awakened to a neigh. W. Era. With a sense of awe and wonder, Princess Alara watched as the chamber filled with light, the mountain's heart pulsing with newfound life and vit. Ality. In that moment, Alara knew that she had succeeded, that she had unlocked the dormant power of the mountain and brought hope and renewal to the land once shrouded in deep. And as she gazed upon the glowing crystal before her, she felt a sense of gratitude wash over her. A gratitude for the opportunity to play a part in the mountain's awakening, and for the countless adventures that lay ahead. As Princess Alara stood in the chamber, her heart still pounding with the exhilaration of awakening the mountain's dormant heart, she felt a gentle breeze caress her skin, a whisper from the very essence of the earth itself. Closing her eyes, she allowed herself to be swept away by the currents of ancient wisdom that flowed through the cavern guiding her towards a hidden truth that had been waiting patiently to be unveiled. With each passing moment, the whispers grew stronger, their ethereal melody weaving through the air like a delicate thread, until at last they coalesced into a single haunting refrain, a song as old as time it's. LF passed down through generations of guardians and keepers of the mountain's secret, S. With trembling hands, Alara reached out to grasp the melody, feeling its power course through her veins like liquid fur, E. It was a song of harmony and balance, of light and shadow, of life and death. A song that held the key to awakening the mountain from its centuries-long slum. Err. With a voice that trembled with emotion, Alara began to sing, the ancient words flowing from her lips like a river of starl. Ait. 
filling the chamber with a celestial symphony that seemed to reverberate through the very foundations of the EA. RTH. And as she sang, she felt the mountain stir beneath her feet, its ancient heart responding to the call of her voice with a rumbling roar that shook the chamber to its seat. Or, it was a moment of pure magic, a testament to the enduring power of the ancient song and the unbreakable bond between the mountain and those who dared to awaken it from its slum. Bear. And when at last the song reached its crescendo, the chamber filled with a blinding light, illuminating the walls with a brilliance that rivaled the stars themselves. In that moment, Princess Alara knew that she had succeeded, that she had unlocked the true power of the mountain and brought hope and renewal to the land once shrouded in dark. Ness. With a heart full of gratitude and wonder, Alara bowed her head in rev. Rents. Her spirit alight with the knowledge that she had played a part in a tale as old as time itself, the tale of the mountain and the song of the ancients that had awakened it from its centuries-long s. As Princess Alara journeyed deeper into the heart of the mountain, she found herself faced with a daunting obstacle, a gaping chasm that stretched out before her like a gaping maw. Its depths shrouded in darkness and mystery. With a determined glint in her eye, she knew that she must find a way to cross if she were to reach the mountain's heart and fulfill her quest. Peering over the edge, Alara could hear the faint echo of rushing water far below, a reminder of the danger that lurked in the chasm's depths. But she refused to be deterred, for she knew that the key to awakening the mountain lay just beyond. With a steady breath, she surveyed her surroundings, searching for any sign of a path that would lead her safely across. And then, as if by some stroke of luck or fate, she spotted a narrow ledge jutting out from the sheer rock face. A precarious foothold, to be sure, but one that offered a glimmer of hope in the darkness. Summoning all of her courage, Alara began to make her way across the ledge, her heart pounding with each precarious step. The chasm echoed with the sound of her footsteps, amplifying the sense of danger that hung heavy in the air. But Alara pressed on, her determination unwavering in the face of adversity. With each passing moment, she felt herself drawing closer to her goal, the mountain's heart beckoning her forward with a silent promise of untold power and potential. And then, at long last, she reached the other side, a wave of relief washing over her as she stepped onto solid ground once more. E with a triumphant smile, she knew that she had overcome yet another obstacle on her journey, and that the mountain's heart lay just ahead, waiting to be awakened from its slumb. R as Princess Alara continued her ascent through the mountain's treacherous passages, she suddenly found herself confronted by a series of daunting trials. Trials designed to test her courage, her determinate, Ion, and her unwavering, Razal. The... The first trial came in the form of a raging inferno, a wall of flames that blocked her path, its heat searing against her skin as though daring her to turn B, Ack. But Alara stood her ground, her eyes blazing with determination as she faced the flame's head. On. With a steady breath, she summoned her inner strength, channeling the power of the mountain's heart that pulsed within her very bee. Ing. And then, with a defiant cry, she stepped forward into the inferno, feeling the flames part around her like a river flowing around a S. But just as she emerged on the other side, she was met with the second trial, a bitter cold that pierced her to the bone, threatening to freeze her in her tracks. Undeterred, Alara pressed on, her teeth chattering with the cold as she fought to maintain her resolve. With each step she took, the cold grew more intense, its icy grip tightening around her with each passing moment. But Alara refused to give in, her spirit burning bright with the fire of determination that fueled her every step. And then, as suddenly as it had come, the cold receded, leaving Alara standing on the precipice of victory. With a triumphant smile, she knew that she had passed the mountain's trials, that she had proven herself worthy of the power that lay within its ancient heart. With renewed determination, Princess Alara pressed onward, ready to face whatever challenges lay ahead on her journey to awaken the Sleeping Mountain. For she knew that with courage, perseverance, and a heart filled with hope, there was nothing she could not overcome. As Princess Alara journeyed deeper into the heart of the mountain, she came upon a wondrous sight, a cavern filled with sparkling crystals of every hue imaginable. Lee, their brilliance reflecting the light of her torch with dazzling intensity. Why? But as she approached, she realized that these were no ordinary crystals. They were the tears of the earth itself, precious gems that held the very essence of the mountain's powwow. Err, with a sense of reverence, Alara began to collect the crystals, each one more beautiful than the LA. Saint, she marveled at their intricate beauty, their colors shifting and changing like the dance of the northern lights across the night s. Kai, but as she reached out to touch them, she felt a pulse of energy coursing through her veins. 
a connection to something greater than hers, Elf. It was as though the crystals were speaking to her, whispering secrets of the Earth's ancient wisdom and Poe, were, with a sense of purpose burning bright within her heart, Elara gathered the tears of the Earth into her pouch, knowing that they would serve as a potent source of energy in the battles that lay ah, Eid, for she knew that with the tears of the Earth by her side, she would be unstoppable in her quest to awaken the sleeping mountain and bring hope and renewal to the land once shrouded in dark. And as she gazed upon the crystals that filled her pouch, Princess Alara felt a sense of gratitude wash over her, a gratitude for the opportunity to play a part in the ancient dance of creation and destruction, and for the countless adventures that lay ahead on her journey to fulfill her destiny. As Princess Alara delved deeper into her quest to awaken the Sleeping Mountain, she realized that she needed more than just the ancient song and the tears of the earth to accomplish her goal. She needed something more, a connection to the very heartbeat of the world itself. And so, she sought out the guidance of the forest spirits, ancient guardians of the natural world who held the key to unlocking the harmony of nature. With their help, she learned to attune herself to the rhythms of the earth, the gentle sway of the trees, the babbling of the brooks, the whisper of the wind through the leaf. S. With each passing day, Alara grew stronger in her connection to the natural world, her senses attuned to the subtle ebb and flow of life that pulsed all around he. R. And, as she immersed herself in the beauty of the forest, she felt a sense of peace and tranquility wash over her, filling her with a renewed sense of purpose and determinatio. N. Armed with the harmony of nature coursing through her veins, Princess Alara returned to the mountain, ready to amplify the ancient song with the power of the natural world. D. And as she sang, she felt the earth itself respond, the very mountains and valleys echoing with the melody of her voic. E, with each verse, the song grew stronger, its power amplified by the harmony of nature that surrounded he. R, and then, with a deafening roar, the mountain stirred from its slumber, shaking off the dust of centuries past as it awakened to a new era of light and hop. E, in that moment, Princess Alara knew that she had succeeded, that she had unlocked the true power of the mountain and brought peace and renewal to the land once shrouded in darkness. SS, and as she gazed upon the majestic peaks that stretched out before her, she felt a sense of gratitude wash over her, a gratitude for the harmony of nature that had guided her every step of the way, and for the countless adventures that lay ahead on her journey to fulfill her dust. Inni, high atop the mountain peak, under a canopy of twinkling stars, Princess Alara stood in awe of the celestial symphony that unfolded before her. The night sky shimmered with the brilliance of a thousand diamonds, each star adding its own unique melody to the cosmic chorus that filled the... With a sense of wonderment, Elara realized that she was not alone, that she was surrounded by the whispers of the cosmos, each one carrying a message of hope and possibility. And as she listened, she felt a stirring deep within her soul, a longing to join her voice with the celestial symphony and add her own melody to the chorus of the heavens. Summoning all of her courage, Alara raised her voice to the stars, her song echoing across the mountaintop like a beacon of light in the darkness. With each note, she felt herself drawing closer to the heart of the universe, her spirit soaring on wings of music and magic. And then, as if in response to her song, the stars began to dance, a celestial ballet that filled the sky with a kaleidoscope of colors and patterns, each movement synchronized with the rhythm of Alara's voic. E, it was a sight unlike anything she had ever seen before, a testament to the power of music to transcend the boundaries of time and spa. C, E, with each passing moment, the symphony grew stronger, its melody weaving through the fabric of the universe like a thread of pure inner, Jai. And as Alara sang, she felt the mountain beneath her feet begin to tremble, its ancient heart responding to the call of her voice with a rumbling roar that shook the very foundations of the ear. In that moment, Princess Alara knew that she had succeeded, that she had awakened the mountain from its slumber and brought light and hope to the land once shrouded in dark. S. And as she gazed upon the celestial symphony that stretched out before her, she felt a sense of peace wash over her, a peace born from the knowledge that she had played a part in the eternal dance of creation and destruction, and that the adventure was only just begin. Ning. With a voice filled with determination and heart, Princess Alara sang the ancient song, the very melody that had been whispered to her by the wind, the song that held the key to awakening the sleeping Mu. And Tain? As her voice echoed through the caverns, she felt a stirring beneath her feet, a rumbling vibration that seemed to emanate from the very heart of the earth. Itself! With each verse, the tremors grew stronger, the mountain responding to the call of her voice with a deep, rumbling roar that echoed through the valleys and... 
peaks. It was as though the earth itself had come alive, its ancient heart pulsing with the rhythm of Alara, S song. With a sense of awe and wonderment, Alara watched as the mountain stirred from its slumber, shaking off the dust of centuries past as it awakened to a new era of light A. And as she sang, she felt the power of the mountain coursing through her veins, filling her with a sense of purpose and determination that she had never known before. In that moment, Princess Alara knew that she had succeeded, that she had unlocked the true power of the mountain and brought peace and renewal to the land once shrouded in darkness. And as she gazed upon the majestic peaks that stretched out before her, she felt a sense of gratitude wash over her. A gratitude for the opportunity to play a part in the eternal dance of creation and de-destruction and for the countless adventures that lay ahead on her journey to fulfill her destiny. As Princess Alara's voice echoed through the caverns, a profound transformation began to unfold before her eyes. The earth trembled beneath her feet, and with a deep, rumbling roar, the mountain began to stir from its slumber. It was a sight to behold, a testament to the power of the ancient song and the unwavering determination of one brave prince's, S. With each passing moment, the mountain rose higher and higher, its majestic peaks piercing the sky like the outstretched arms of a slumbering giant awakening from a long and dreamless sleep. P. And as Alara watched in awe, she felt a sense of wonder wash over her. A wonder at the sheer magnitude of the mountain's awakening, and at the countless possibilities that lay ahe. A. With a deafening roar, the mountain shook off the dust of centuries past, its ancient heart pulsing with the rhythm of new life and vitality. Thank you, it was as though the very earth itself had come alive, its spirit renewed by the touch of Princess Alara's so. NG. In that moment, Alara knew that she had succeeded, that she had unlocked the true power of the mountain and brought light and hope to the land once shrouded in dark and ass. And as she gazed upon the majestic peaks that stretched out before her, she felt a sense of gratitude wash over her, a gratitude for the opportunity to play a part in the eternal dance of Creatio, and in destruction, and for the countless adventures that lay ahead on her journey to fulfill her des. Tiny, as the first light of dawn broke over the horizon, Princess Alara stood atop the newly awakened mountain, her heart filled with a sense of pride and accomplish. Meant. With the mountain now stirring with life and energy, she knew that her quest was far from over. Yet she also knew that she had brought hope and renewal to the land once shrouded in Dar, Kness. From her vantage point high above the world, Alara gazed out at the landscape below, marveling at the beauty that stretched out before. The once barren fields now teemed with life, their lush greenery a testament to the power of the mountain's awakening. And in the distance, she could see the people of the kingdom emerging from their homes, their faces alight with wonder and awe at the sight of the mountain's newfound vitality. With a smile of satisfaction, Alara knew that her journey had been worth it, that every trial and tribulation she had faced along the way had led her to this moment of triumph. For she had brought hope to the land, and with hope came the promise of a brighter future for all who called it home. And as she stood there bathed in the golden light of dawn, Princess Alara knew that her adventure was only just beginning. For with the mountain now awakened and the land filled with renewed energy and vitality, there were countless adventures waiting to be had, and countless challenges waiting to be overcome. But with courage in her heart, and the power of the mountain by her side, she knew that she was ready for whatever lay ahead. As the sun dipped below the horizon, painting the sky in hues of pink and gold, Princess Alara stood atop the mountain, her hand resting gently against its rocky surface. In that moment, she felt a deep connection, a bond that transcended time and space, linking her to the very heart of the mountain itself. With a sense of reverence, Alara vowed to protect the mountain and cherish its newfound awakening for all eternity. For she knew that it was not just a mountain, it was a friend, a guardian, a source of strength and inspiration in a world filled with uncertainty and darkness. S. With each passing moment, Alara felt the bond between them grow stronger, their spirits intertwined in a dance of mutual respect and understanding. G. And as she looked out at the world below, she knew that she would do whatever it took to ensure that the mountain remained safe and protected for generations to come. E. With a smile of determination, Princess Alara turned her gaze towards the horizon, ready to face whatever challenges lay ahead on her journey to fulfill her vow. W. For she knew that with the mountain by her side there was nothing she could not overcome, and that together they would bring light and hope to the land once shrouded in darkness. S. In the days that followed the awakening of the mountain, tales of Princess Alara's bravery spread far and wide, carried on the lips of storytellers and bards who traveled from village to villa. G.E. Spreading word of her courageous D. 
Her name became synonymous with courage and determination, a beacon of hope in a world filled with darkness and uncertainty. As the years passed, Alara's legend only grew, her story immortalized in songs and poems that echoed through the ages. And with each retelling, her legacy grew stronger, inspiring future generations to face their own challenges with the same courage and determination that had defined her journey. From the youngest children to the oldest elders all knew of Princess Alara and the mountain she had awakened. And they held her memory close to their hearts as a reminder of the power of bravery and the importance of standing up for what is right. And though she had long since passed into legend, Princess Alara's spirit lived on in the hearts of those who had been touched by her story. A testament to the enduring power of courage and the impact that a single act of bravery can have on the world. In the end, Princess Alara's legacy was not just one of courage and determination, it was a legacy of hope, a beacon of light that guided future generations through the darkest of times, and a reminder that no matter how daunting the challenge, with courage in your heart, anything is possible. As the years passed and the seasons changed, the story of Princess Alara and the Awakened Mountain continued to captivate the hearts and minds of all who heard it. It became more than just a tale, it became a part of the fabric of society, woven into the very essence of the world itself. Generations came and went, but the legacy of Princess Alara endured, passed down from parent to child like a precious heirloom. And with each retelling, the story grew richer, its characters becoming larger than life and its message more powerful than ever before. For the story of Princess Alara was not just a story, it was a reflection of the human spirit, a testament to the boundless potential that lies within each and every one of you. S. It was a reminder that no matter how daunting the challenge with courage, determination, and the power of friendship, anything is possible. E. And so, as the sun set on another day and the stars began to twinkle in the night sky, the story of Princess Alara and the Awakened Mountain lived on its legacy stretching far beyond the confines of time and spac. E. For it was a story of hope, of resilience, and of the enduring power of the human spirit, a story that would continue to inspire and uplift for generations to company me. And so our adventure comes to a close, but the tale of Princess Alara and the Awakened Mountain will forever echo in our Hia. Thank you for joining us at Storytime Haven. Until next time, may your dreams be filled with wonder and enchantment.